Hi all, welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4. We're playing as Poland, we are fighting an Austrian war. Luckily enough, France and Russia are also fighting Austria, so while we don't have them on our side, we're getting some help, um, which is good. They're keeping down Austria's force limit to a, you know, okay degree. Not as much as I would have liked, but still doing a de decent job. Or not force limit, but like troops in general. We've got some sieges going on. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit afraid I am actually holding off going to do more on sieging, just because there are a ton of uh, armies floating around that could go after me. I do need... I should have the number two siege guy in one of my armies. Well, it's a little bit silly that I don't, so I'll have to figure that out. And I may go ahead, I forget what the next defensive idea is, is it fort defense plus 33, so not entirely helpful now, now that the Austrians are running scared, but still probably worth it. Um, I'd love to know, there were a whole bunch of Russian army up there, some of them. Go after some of these opposing forces. I don't actually know if they're at war against the Palatinate, they might not be. They are not. So the Palatinate is something that I have to take out. They're at war against, like, everyone else, though. Um, God. I don't want to be sieges to end so I can move up. The war's been pretty stable. We do not have the troop advantage whatsoever. Although they're dropping... Let's see, will Austria peace out for anything? They won't wipe peace. They will almost concede def def defeat. If I could improve the war score just a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, what they want are things that I don't want to give them. So, we'll wait on that, but it might happen. Also, I'd love for these rebels to move somewhere. <laughs> Go and attack someone, please. Oh, big Austrian army. It's a little worrisome. Alright, so we won that top siege, so let's get these guys. Let's give them the siege general move down here. Hi, Wolf Club. Welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, no, that's the 43 army. Is scary. Because what I want to do is unsiege like mad. And I can't do that if there is a 60 stack now hanging around. afraid about Finn. I don't want to leave troops there for now. What am I losing money to? I've got so many things sieged. I'm sure that's what the problem is. I've lost all the trade, etc. from those sieged provinces. Uh -huh. Yeah, well that's way low. That's alright. Let's finish the siege off. Let's see what we can do. I do need to remember to change leaders if I um, get into another battle. France is all over the place. There's not sieging anywhere else. It's quite annoying. The siege is still at 28% because Wallachia has been valiantly trying for a while now. <laughs> it's actually really cute. It's a cute vassal. Oh. Um. There we go. 
We're on the siege of Vorpommen. Let's bring our army over. No. Do not go that way. You can hang out there. That's fine. I will deal with you eventually. Jimbo, welcome. Good to see you again. No. <laughs> I am not going to peace out like that. The tide is turning, Austria. It may not actually be turning, but it feels like it's turning. That's what matters. Momentum. Is there anyone else I can piece out separately? The Palatinate? They will not take a white piece. They will not take concede defeat, but just barely. They don't want money, right? Yeah. I'd love to bribe them. Um, so we're going to split this army, I think. And we will get hopefully some unseaging happening. I did take some attrition, but that's okay. Um, there we go. Yeah, that, that's relatively fast. Can you... Can you pick up a leader? Hello? Ah. Uh, so, unfortunately, we seem to have lost Iron Man. So, we're going to call an end to this episode. Sorry it's a little short, and we'll see you guys next time.